Hey guys, Javier signed in from Cotlan, uh, where I biked 85 kilometers today from uh, Guadalajara. So last night I was debating whether I would go to uh, Leon, then Guanajuato City, Dolores Hidalgo, San Miguel de Allende, or if I wanted to uh, go to Morelia and Pascuaro. Uh, I elected to, I will still go to the uh, Leon, Guanajuato, etc. area. Uh, but I decided to go to uh, Morelia and Pascuaro uh, because they are of real historical uh, significance for Mexico, uh, especially uh, interested in the, the, the old Aztec and uh, uh, Mayan tribes that used to live around there. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, uh, see some of that. <laughs> Hey guys, Javier signing in for day two of this segment. You're looking at Lake Chapala. Yesterday I decided to take the quota, so the toll highway. Uh, it was a little bit hairy to get on it in Guadalajara, naturally a big city with big fast traffic. Uh, so you gotta be ready for that if you wanna take that road, but I took the toll road because it has a big shoulder. But for the rest of the journey, I will be taking the uh, kind of free highways uh, that you can take uh, that are you know more a little bit more windy but the reason why I'm taking them that's because I believe they will be more scenic as well as uh, going through more towns so uh, better probability of finding a good hotel. Google continues to give me interesting route choices. Don't really mind it, the road's not too bad. Well, the routes I've been taking are beautiful. Uh, these kinds of rocks will make a 80 kilometer day, which is what I was supposed to do, feel like at least 100, but can't complain too much. Things are pretty nice. I don't see how this could go wrong. These cows are in the, the swamp to get some, some fresh greens. I know it sounds kind of odd to be scared of cows, but I mean, if you just accidentally startle them, you know, it's a big animal. But uh, part of the cows, keep going on with my journey. Hold up. Well, I am uh, pretty rattled from that road, uh, literally, and uh, so I think I'm going to go get something to eat in a small town and then just hop on the Highway 35, which is uh, longer in distance, but I think at this point will be shorter in time because uh, I can't even bear the idea really of being on, on another uh, bumpy road, so that'll be a nicer, smoother, uh, rest of the day.
12 pesos for a bag of tacos. Agave. Funny enough, I haven't had any tequila in Mexico yet. Should probably get on there. I'm in Zamora. So far I've checked out two hotels and they've been out of my budget. The first one was, well actually both are about 900 pesos. Uh, as you can see it's kind of fancier places. The other one had like a nice garden and a nice pool but I'm uh, not going to be spring for that so I'm going to keep looking around. And hopefully see some cool stuff while I'm at it. Checking out another four or five places, all similarly priced at 900 pesos area. Finally found this place, hot water and Wi-Fi for 260. Um, there was actually another place close to here that was 180 with no internet. Uh, I like to get the internet, but uh, now that I think back on it, I'll be paying uh, 80 pesos for one episode of uh, Better Call Saul. So, not sure that's the greatest deal, but sometimes you gotta treat yourself. That was a pretty awesome street breakfast. I don't know if you could tell, but there was like seven different things on my plate and they were all amazing fueled up ready to hit the road some good news and some bad news. The good would be that uh, I found a place pretty easily, second try, 230 pesos for uh, Wi-Fi and hot water and Spanish TV that I'm probably not gonna watch because I can't understand yet. Um, yeah, so that was good. Unfortunately, as I took out my regular glasses, discovered that they are broken. So I'm going to be checking out the local 
optometrist and see what they can do. Gracias, amigo. <laughs> it's like I uh, fixed my glasses for uh, 20 pesos. I think he also shined them or something, but uh, so that's resolved. So I'm going to uh, go out now that you can see and uh, check out some of the uh, local sites. Tap for round two. So that awesome breakfast that you saw with chilaquiles, eggs, beans, bread, steak. Uh, it was, uh, as, as it looked, amazing. Um, actually, before I got it, uh, this guy came and talked to me. You know, kind of the usual thing of being uh, uh, kind of interested in what I'm doing. Uh, talking about uh, my trip a little bit. Give me some recommendations for uh, Pasquaro. Um, and then, uh, yeah, at the end of our little talk, uh, he says, uh, the, you know, the, don't worry about paying for the meal. Uh, I own the place, it's on me. So that's uh, La Espiga, Espiga, La Espiga, and on um, the main street of Zekapu. So, uh, big thanks to uh, Victor for the meal. Uh, should give me the energy to, uh, to uh, bike to some ruins. I just went to the uh, south part of town to check out a hostel. Uh, when I got to the address, there was no signage. I knocked on the door, nobody answered. So, um, looks like it's not open anymore, or I don't know. So I'm just gonna go back down this kind of main street here and uh, look for a hotel. All right, so I found a place pretty close to, well, I would say it's downtown, pretty close to the main plaza. Hot water, Wi-Fi, and best of all, I should open this first. Low balcony in a view. That's also my balcony there. So they were asking 300 pesos for it. And I managed to haggle for 500 for two nights. So pretty good deal for the location and amenities. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, journey bikepacking with me from Guadalajara to Pascuaro. Uh, it was a really enjoyable uh, journey, kind of scenic. Uh, ate some great food. Um, saw some cool towns, cool people. And um, if you thought that the brief look at the uh, ruins earlier was uh, too short. 
there will be a full uh, separate video of uh, my time at the ruins and uh, you can get to even learn a little bit about uh, the Aztecs who uh, live there. Um, I will also be doing a video of uh, downtown Pascuaro, just walking around. I've already seen a lot of cool stuff, but I know there's even more to see, as well as my uh, hike. Hopefully uh, <laughs> it uh, goes well tomorrow morning. Uh, the uh, volcano, I might put the name of it here. Can't really remember right now. Uh, so that should all be fun. So check out for at least those three videos and for uh, Yeah, and if you're uh, not familiar with with my trip uh, I've been bicycle touring from Canada to Argentina If you want to see everywhere that I've been and the different things I got up to you can check out my website follow the hum of the earth.com and if you'd like to uh, You know stay tuned to my adventures uh, You can subscribe to my channel. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one